So uh, one week from today is the New York State primary. And uh, yesterday we heard that uh, the Fly Creek Cider Mill is going to be a, all a part of this when it comes to NBC's coverage. The owner of the Fly Creek Cider Mill, Bill Michaels, is on the line right now. Bill, good morning. Thanks for coming on. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, by the way, do you still have, uh, I mean, you got to have some cider frozen away there. Can you still buy cider at your, your mill? We have plenty of cider that we made last November. Nice. Froze, so we have it. We haven't even had buds on the trees yet, thankfully, right. because of this yeah. cold weather. So well, we have plenty of frozen. I, I, it's funny, too, because I'm looking in my backyard, and I see all the, the plants that came up on their own, and, uh, and then it turned into single-digit temperatures, and everything has been killed. Everything is brown and, uh, and, and it's kind of right. Is it, will that affect? That won't affect your uh, the apple growth or anything like that, right? Because well, the blossoms aren't out yet. Well, a lot of it is wait and see, and there's different blossoms at different stages all the way around the state. Yeah, um, the Hudson Valley, I believe, was impacted, but it's spotty up north in the Champagne Plain Valley. Um, I think they were spared and. We have yet to see what's going to happen out west. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's talk about uh, how did this whole thing roll out? NBC is going to be doing their coverage um, this Thursday and Friday, right, from Fly Creek? Thursday and Friday, the afternoon shows on their uh, NBC state, MSNBC station okay. are going to be broadcast. They said anywhere between 1 and 5. It depends on what might come up during the day that they need to go to. But sure. they're planning on shooting from here. Uh, Thursday and Friday. Right now, they're over at our friends at Schoharie Valley Farms, the Carrot Barn in neighboring uh, Schoharie County. Okay. And uh, and will they, uh, is it going to be on the Today Show and that sort of thing as well? I believe it's just their NBC, MSNBC. MSNBC. I think it's Brian Williams, Williams, though. I think maybe Brian, Brian Williams yeah. will be there. Yeah. They, I've, I've watched uh, yesterday's coverage, and they've cut to different areas of the country, but they based the show out of the uh, Harry Valley Farm. Nice. So, and now, have they told you what they're going to need for their setup? Uh, what their what their plan is? Well, they asked about power, cell service, and internet. So yeah. we have all of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, that's we, big. We just completed a major renovation here, so we have plenty of uh, br- brand new electricity, heat, and air conditioning. Uh, nice. Improved uh, uh, improved marketplace, and we're really hoping to show off our our small business nationally. We're inviting people to come by. They want people to come in. And as you know, we sample more than 40 different specialty foods daily. And they want people to they want to take pictures of people enjoying our products. And they might even interview some along the way. Wow. You know, I've watched your place uh, grow over the years. It's, uh, it's amazing. I mean, I've, I think since you were open early on, I, I would uh, frequent the place. And uh, watching the, the transformation um, has been really incredible. You guys have grown tremendously. Well, thank you very much. Um, it's been fun to to be here during those years. I grew up here. My parents bought it in 1964, and we bought it from them in 1999. And Brent and I are really proud to be able to keep this small business going um, for generations to come. We During our cider pressing season, we see grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, children, grandchildren, all watching cider the old-fashioned way. Uh, and now with our expanded second floor, they're going to be able to watch cider being made on three sides wow. of the press. Yeah. And it really is bringing the whole pressing and milling operation into the whole retail environment. And you've, can, you've also jumped on the uh, on the the beer and wine. Uh, you can do the certain beer tastings and, and wine tastings that are New York-based as well, right? Yes. We're a New York State Farm winery. We have apple wines and hard ciders. And we're also a member of the Cooperstown Beverage Trail, which is now an eight-producer uh, membership. Um, we have a trail that stretches, stretches uh, 32 miles from uh, uh, Garrettsville all the way down to Oneonta on 28 wow. and 80, and you can do it all in a day. And we have a great magazine called Quench Magazine that tells you all about the different producers. And our neighbor here up at Pale Shop Winery on Goose Street uh, is the, the local new member, and we're quite proud of that. Hey. Well, listen, you guys are doing a great job. We congratulate you. We're we'll watching uh, on MSNBC Thursday and Friday for uh, their coverage coming from your place there in Fly Creek. Pretty awesome. Thank you. All right, Bill, thanks for coming on the radio. Thank you for having me. Uh, Bill Michaels out at the uh, Fly Creek Cider Mill. That place is really awesome, and the cider is awesome. And it's just uh, they do that fall fest in the... Uh, oh, yeah, they have uh, great food up huge, there, too. Huge crowds come out for that. And uh, it's pretty cool. And they have great food as well. So hold on. Quick break. We'll come right back. A free money question of the day. Why don't we do one and get get it out of the way before 7 o'clock here? Give you a chance to win one, two, or $300 in cash. 
736-0186. It's from the Hobanka Law Firm. 736-0186 right now at WIBX.